Hey guys, Bjix here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make smoke trail effects in Adobe After Effects, and you don't need any plugins for this. So, I'm going to show you guys an example of what I mean. Okay, so that was the example. Um, right now, what I have here is a picture of a missile launcher, and that's what I'm going to use uh, just as an example for the smoke effects. But basically, we're gonna, uh, what we want to first start with is that we want to make a new composition, I'll call it missile launcher and that's basically all I care about um, I'll make it 5 seconds long now you have this black background you want to press control Y which will bring up the uh, new solid or you can just make a new solid by going layer new solid um, made it black it doesn't matter what color you make it uh, go to effect simulation and particle playground now particle playground is built into your after effect so you don't need to get a external pl a plug in for it so when you run through this right now you'll just see this uh, fountain of particles that are being affected by gravity so what we what, right now what we want to do is we want to see what, what like our shape is and we're gonna make this into smoke so we're gonna take this and I'm gonna drag this picture of a missile launcher I got off the internet uh, and I'm going to put it up right now but basically I'm gonna make a smoke uh, trail come off this missile so the missile doesn't actually move because it's an image but I'm just gonna use it as an example for like the barrel size so first thing we want to do is we want to go to black solid that we made under um, effects controls and we want to go to canon and basically first what I want to do is I want to find my central uh, center point and I'm going to put this on top of my missile launcher. So um, I'm going to keep the color red right now because I need to see what's happening because it's hard to see the other colors in this background. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to change the barrel radius. So I may want to like go a bit forward. So I guess 12, maybe like, maybe like 6 is good for that. But you want to make like a good barrel size which would look like the smoke's coming out of the end of that. Actually, I'll make like nine. Okay, so that kind of looks like it. Um, but right now this looks like crap because it doesn't look like smoke effects at all. But that'll change in a second. So first thing we want to do right now, and that what we want to do here is that we want to take up the particles per second so that we have more um, particles to play with. And basically, um, you don't want to take that up that much because it'll crash your computer otherwise. So we want to change the direction to make it match up with your barrel, so that looks about right. Now, that, yeah, that's about right. Uh, um, so now basically what this is going to do is the missile is going to launch from here and you'll see the smoke come out. So, um, next things up is direction random spur. This is basically how much it like uh, flails out or like how much it um, spreads out. We don't want to touch that actually because it doesn't really make a difference, but it'll kind of mess up the effect, so I may want to take it up just a notch so that it looks a bit better. Um, next thing up, velocity. Turn up the velocity just a tiny bit. You don't need it that much, but I turn it up a bit depending on how fast your effect is. Um, and then you don't need to worry about that. And then the color, I guess I'll change it now anyways, but we're going to change it to a lightish gray, which is the color of the smoke that I'm trying to make. So you can make this your own color, you can make it black for all I care, but um, I'm going to make it a lightish gray for this tutorial. Um, you're going to go to particle radius, and now for particle radius, this is basically what your particles, um, like the bigger the size is, the better, but you don't want to make it too big, because like, look at that, that just looks weird. So I'm going to make it around like four, something like that, yeah, like four, Wait, what's five look like? Yeah, five's okay. No, 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 four. Like, I don't want that full. Maybe actually 3.5, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's perfect size. Okay, so, right now you're probably thinking, this doesn't look like smoke at all. That's because we're not done. So, right now what we're going to do is we're going to go under gravity, because basically, right here you can see that it's kind of like falling down. We don't, smoke really doesn't affect, uh, get affected by gravity that much, but we want to take this all the way down, all your gravity force, maybe like a couple, like six, for example. So yeah, now this is basically done for this part. Um, 
Now we're going to go under effects. Make sure you have your layer selected. Effects, uh, blur and sharpen, and then Gaussian blur. So now that you have this, you're going to go and you're going to turn up the blurriness by a lot. So now you can see that it starts to get blurred out and it looks like a bit more like smoke now. So if we skip ahead, it looks like smoke. There you go, you have smoke now. Um, if you make it too much, it doesn't look like smoke anymore. If you make it too little, it should look like blobs. So normally I like to keep it around like 30. But yeah, so now you basically made your smoke. Now, <laughs> this smoke, um, if you turn up your particles per second, it'll, it'll become more thick and uh, smoky. But yeah, the, um, no matter how much, like, the more you go up, the more likely it is to crash your computer, depending on how good your computer is. My computer isn't that great with handling this kind of stuff, so simulation is kind of a bad thing for it. But yeah, that's basically it. So now let's turn back on that layer, and we have this smoke coming out. Now it doesn't look like that good because it doesn't match the, black, the background, but you guys will probably make it better, or add like an actual missile to it, but this is just like an extra effect. So um, right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make the position go like move. I'm not going to actually add a missile to it, but I can. Um, I'm going to basically draw, drag this under the bottom of the missile, um, set it at zero, under position, click the stopwatch, go to five, and then I'll drag it to wherever I want to go, like right here -ish. is it. So that just set the keyframe automatically. So now if I play through it, which is gonna take a bit of time, you can see that the smoke starts rising. So that's because we made it. Um you can add a missile to the front of this, do whatever you want. I recommend not using an image unless you're completely certain like still image won't ruin your shot. But yeah, that's basically all you gotta do. You have this cool new smoke effect now. And yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching guys. Um this is one of many tutorials that I'll be doing on special effects like this. Uh, check out my channel for more. Links in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.